Hello and welcome to another Lawson property video viewing. Uh, we're here today in the stunning Royal William Yard to see a very well presented one bedroom first floor apartment located within the Mills Bakery building here. Um, those of you that are aware of Royal William Yard will be aware of all the, the features and benefits that are here, but for those of you who aren't, um, it's an ex Royal Navy uh, warehousing area, I believe, that's been renovated into one of the most desirable parts of the city. You've got some fantastic restaurants out here, beautiful accommodation, obviously, uh, marina access, etc and then the most stunning views out over the water. The property that we are here to see today actually looks right out over this expanse of water and it really is stunning. Um, so coming back to the building that we're going into today. So we're first floor, and as you can see, the impact of this building is out of this world. Um, right in the same building, you've got the uh, well-known restaurants and uh, at lounges of Prezzo and Seco Lounge um, so and, and lots and lots of other restaurants, eateries, bars etc in the area here um, but the property that we're here to see is in this property so normally when I go into apartments etc I don't necessarily kind of focus too much of my time and attention on the communal areas but for this property I am going to make that exception so as you approach down to this side um, you've got this fantastic entranceway with pillars etc um, and again the whole time with that beautiful sea view right off to your side um, so coming in here the main entranceway into the property you come along this part here so steps on up and then these fantastic doors open into the main entrance way and you'll see why I'm going to focus on this here so you come on in initially into here which in itself lots of history and very impressive and you come on through the glass doors to this central area here which again is just fascinating the more you look at the more little details there are and there's an entrance way into a property it's pretty impressive um, the actual entrance to the apartments themselves is all secure. So we wave our little magic wand and we then oh, come on through if I wave the magic wand correctly. There we go. So, property we're here to see is first floor. Um, so you come into the now kind of resident secure area. Um, you do have a lift. That goes up to the first floor which is great but even the stairwells are stunning you've got all the glass banisters coming up and as you come up to the main first floor you then open into the most amazing area in here talk about an entranceway for an apartment it's just beautiful just stunning, so much history. Post boxes, etc. down there, back to the kind of more routine, uh, mundane details. And the property we're here to see is number 29. So we approach you this way. So again, still more of the stunning glasswork. All the finish in this building is so very high. And then we come along the walkway here. All of the different apartment numbers are lit up. And we're here to see number 29. So, coming in to the property, as you can see, we are essentially one long broken up space. But what a space. So, first door to your side here is a shower room. So, as you can see, you've got WC, basin, heated towel rail, fantastic period column in there just to add that industrial edge again and then really good size shower cubicle in there you've got sort of proper slate tile floor etc in here 
coming out of this shower room you then have a utility storage cupboard so heating controls consumer unit for electrics etc and then plumbing drainage and power for washing machine which is very handy because the living space at the end is a small kitchen area open plan to lounge so the benefit of this cupboard means that when the washing is going around it's not rattling around in your ear now one of the other really interesting quirky parts of this property is the bedroom layout so obviously it's a good sized bedroom you've got double in there space for a table a chest whatever you need and then obviously at that end we've got built-in wardrobes all along but you don't have a door <laughs> you've got this lovely kind of glass panel here for kind of a little bit of privacy um but it just all sort of flows so you've got another one of those fantastic industrial columns to that side and as i say you've got built-in wardrobes just sort of push button open closers in here so double wardrobes along so plenty of storage and the space itself is really nice usable space but then you are kind of open back to that uh, hallway so coming back down you've got telephone access down to the front door so you don't necessarily have to kind of run up and down every time you've got a guest you can buzz people in and then you come through to a really contemporary lovely open plan living space so as you can see plenty of room here for a good sized table and chairs a couple of sofas coffee table console unit down at the end and window overlooking the water and then panning back this way we've got a really nice contemporary sort of kitchenette set back you've got built-in dishwasher built-in fridge two ring hob at the top built-in oven and then obviously storage in the wall mounted units as well but a worktop space and the sink in there more of those fantastic industrial columns in here just really sort of harks back to the history of the building and then the exposed stonework wall at the end with the window that is overlooking that fantastic view out of the window it really is second to none um so that is our video viewing of apartment 29 mills bakery royal william yard if you would like any other information or to come and have a look at the view yourself please give our office a quick call we are on double two nine two nine two thank you